morning, I decided to go through and find all my geek gear stuff. Put out my favorite and take a picture. This is year one of geek gear. This is not including everything because there's a couple t-shirts that are like in the wash and a couple different keychains that are just all over. But this is my favorite things from each month for the year of 2018. And I thought it was cool to put it all together. So I showed you guys each one. So this is like a year, well not quite a year of geek gear because I started in March so I didn't get um, the first two boxes. Um, so I didn't get February or January for 2018 but I did get March through December. So this is March through December. And I thought it would be kind of interesting to do that again for 2019 after December so you guys can kind of see in a glimpse everything that um, I've gotten with Geek Gear. The thing is, is my December Geek Gear pamphlet is missing. Um, we were in the process of moving at the time and I think it had gotten thrown away or ripped or something. So I don't have that pamphlet, but I looked and referred to the video for that one. This is pretty cool. A lot of cool geeky stuff. Okay, you guys, so I'm working on my altar. Um, I showed you guys what I was doing, basically, to put it all together. So this is what the top of it looks like. And then the bottom is going to be very similar to what I already had with all of these pieces, the positive and choose happy and all that stuff. And then these two little things on the second shelves on the end. But I'm going to spookify it for Halloween because everything's got to be spooky. Um, and then Christmas, I'll put, you know, a few Christmas things there. And then in January, it'll go back to basically normal. Um, but I added all my books down there. So my idea is the top is going to be a display with like little things like this, signs like I told you and the bowl with the seashells and everything. The second is going to be for all my books. And then the third is going to be, and the bottom is going to be storage for like um, my drum and all my other spiritual stuff, my candles and incense and my um, salt and little containers to add my essential oils in and all that stuff. But I think I'm going to leave the top as this year round because I just love it so much and I don't really have the heart to spookify it. So that's what I did today. I spookified all the shelves and the candles are there because literally the books won't stay. Um, but I love how that turns out. I think it turned out really cute. Um, and then task two of the day is to put all of this in the storage thing out there, clean the house, and try to take a couple minutes to actually eat lunch. Because honestly, I have not eaten lunch and it's already 10 o'clock, and I've been on two walks, played with Tommy, cleaned all of this off, worked on my altar. I'm studying right now for my next part of my numerology. I'm getting the vlog up. I put all of my geek gear stuff together to do one year of geek gears to show you guys this morning as well. And I fixed the Halloween village. I think it just looks cooler over here. So we have the little cemetery with all of the um, gravestones and oops, ghosts. And here's a little gate to the there and then the town hall and Jack and Sally and Zero's house and then there's another house with some little trees and I got my cauldron. Jackie and Tiffany aren't staying there. I just moved them so I could take a few nice pictures of my altar. And we played with this little guy this morning. And somebody was a nosy puppy. Huh? Were you a naughty puppy? Because, as you can see, there's these beautiful rags all over because he wiped his booty all over the couch. So basically, there, 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 and there. Um, those I cleaned up pretty well, I think. Oh my gosh, and look. You can see little puppy marks on his little toesies. 
<laughs> Which, just for the record, is not just me being OCD. It's a, not only that, it's a cleanliness thing because he gone through the mud and he accidentally has stepped in like other dogs poop like seven times because apparently people don't pick up their poop over here and so it's not even like it's not even that dramatic of a thing to just wash his paws when you come in the house i even set up a little station for him to sit and have his paws um washed and he can sit and get his leash to go outside so I feel like it's not that big of a deal, but that's exactly why. Anyways, very busy morning. Andrew should be home in an hour, and we are going to have a husband and wife day. And I'm so excited because we're going to watch scary movies, we're going to cuddle, and it's going to be super fun. <laughs> that sounds so cheesy, but first, I need to get that done, and I need to eat the lunch that keeps beeping at me in the microwave. Okay, we have two teas to try today, so this is from... July's box. It is wolf, wolfsbane tea and it is green tea and peppermint. I think it's Moroccan mint green tea. So we're going to try this one first and then Cornish pixie tea, which is blueberry blossom. And I'm just warning you, I don't really like tea. So <laughs> trying this, I'm probably not really going to super like it, but let's get brewing. into the tea thing this smells so good it smells so minty so this may be an actual tea that i actually like so we will see because it smells really good but again not super big tea okay this is what it looks like oh, it's so interesting to me how tea always looks so different so this is wolf's bane tea it is green tea and peppermint Oh, there's only two ingredients. Okay, maybe I could like it. So, let's see. Cheers. Ooh. After it's brewed, it tastes way different. Or smells way different. It's, it smells like that classic just hot tea kind of smell and I, I don't really like it okay mm. oh it's really hot okay oh it's a little too much green tea for me it's not bad but it's a little too much green tea for me but if you like tea perfect for the afternoon Okay, so that was the Wolf's Bane. I took a little sip of it, but didn't super like it. So let's see what the Cornish Pixie tastes like. This one smells really good too. It's been really blueberry, so we will see. This one is apple pieces, rose hip peel, citrus peel, um, flower, butterfly, pea, flower, lemongrass, lemon balm, blackberry leaves, blueberries, corn flower, and mallow blossoms. And this one also smells really good and it looks really, really blue. And I just have to say, Cornish Pixies. Oh my gosh, this one looks so pretty. See, the other one didn't, it looked like tea, but this one just looks kind of cool. Alright, let's try it. Cheers! Ooh, it still smells like blueberries. Oh, again, super hot. Ooh, this one's really good. It really just literally tastes like 
this this might sound gross, but it tastes like a warm blueberry to me. <laughs> Which I guess isn't bad because I can actually like drink this tea and actually enjoy it. This is actually a pretty good tea. I think actually this is my favorite tea that they have sent me. This is super good. And I wonder how much it costs to just buy just this tea because it's actually pretty good and there's not very much in this because I used a lot of it and I wanted to see what um, Andrew's mom thought of it because she likes tea. Andrew will not try it because he doesn't like tea. He's like me. He doesn't really like tea. So, um, yeah, but it's kind of been an adventure on the vlog trying all these teas and just seeing like what I like and what I don't like. But I really like this blueberry one. It's so good. Cornish Pixies. Who knew? All right, there's the two teas together. They were actually, this one is obviously the winner of these two. This I did not like at all. The smell, it smells really good when you open the package, but after it's brewed, it I just didn't like it. This, good before when you smell it, good as you're drinking it, and it just tastes like blueberries. 